everyone, so this is going to be my 2010 favorites and it's not beauty related because when I was thinking about making this video I couldn't think about any products to put in this um, video because if I would put any beauty products it would be just too much stuff and the video would be too long so I decided to go for something different it's um, like books and movies and stuff like this the stuff I really um, can name as my 2010 favorites the stuff I really remembered for 2010 and really enjoyed and um, yeah so let's start so it's gonna be a few books because I really enjoy reading and um, my first book is going to be a Twilight Saga, of course, and I got into Twilight pretty late, uh, much later than everyone else did. And uh, I remember when I was in college and everyone was reading Twilight and they were saying, oh, it's so good, it's so good. I was asking, what was it about? Oh, it's about vampires and love. I was like, really? And then, um, I think it was beginning 2010 and they were showing Twilight, the first part, on their sky. And I thought I'll just have a look for 10 minutes, see what it's all about. And I just got stuck to the um, TV and I thought, oh my God, this is so amazing. I have to read the book. So I haven't finished watching the movie and I ran and bought a book and my love affair with Twilight began there and there. And um, I read them all straight away, really quickly, one after another and became a really big fan. And I just wanted to say that Breaking Dawn was my favorite book because so much stuff is going on and I think the story is amazing and I was so devastated when I finished reading it because I was like, well it's over, I want more, she, she should make more books, honestly, this is just so great, love it. Oh, and I really want her to finish them, apparently she started uh, writing a book, um, Twilight, but from um, Edward's view, but she hadn't finished it and um, I know that in Russia, where I'm from, uh, someone uh, finished like fake, someone fake writer, some writer, not her, but like finished book and they published it and no one knows that it's like a fake book and people actually are buying it and reading it and I was like just so shocked. How can anyone do that? That's horrible. Anyway, move on. My next favorite book and I finished it just, um, I think uh, December, beginning of December, November, end of November and it's Dan Brown, A Lost Symbol and it was just so so intelligent, so fascinated this story and just couldn't put it down and if you are, as me, a fan of Dan Brown and if you enjoyed um, Da Vinci Code and um, Angels and Demons, if you even didn't read the book but you enjoyed the movie, I'm sure you will love this book and I think this is the best one, it's better than Da Vinci Code and Angels and Demons and just just story is so clever and just so amazing and I can't wait for them to make a movie. Um, so yeah, this is definitely my 2010 favorite. This is one of my favorite book ever, really, because it's just so so good. And my next uh, favorite 2010 is Marlene Me, and I just finished it a few days ago. Actually, I didn't want to finish it because the sad part started when like Marley started getting old and stuff, and I just didn't want to read it because I was like getting really sad. But eventually, I finished it just a few days ago, and I cried so much. And I watched the movie when it came out in the cinemas and I really enjoyed the movie and then I find out after I watched the movie that actually the movie based on the book. No. So I got the book and I finally got to read it um, in December 2010 and it's just so great. If you enjoyed the movie, the book is much better of course as usual. The books are always really better than the movies. And um, it's just so funny and easy to read and I just fell in love with Marley and I really want a little dog. Then I got so sad when Marley died and I realized that when you get a dog, the dog, because their life is like much shorter than ours, if you're a dog owner, your dog is going to die. I don't like that. So, yeah, that was really sad. So anyway, this is a great book. I like it. I like him. He's so cute. Okay. Next to Southern 10 favorite is uh, a little bit random and it's a candle. And it's a vanilla cupcake smell and it's more than secrets and I bought it in Tiki Max and Tiki Max is like my favorite shop ever and they had lots of these candles uh, where they have all the stuff for the home and I was sniffing all of them uh, looking for the perfect smell and then I found this and I fell in love it just smells like vanilla cupcakes and um, I just fell in love with it because you lighten up and then all home smells so lovely and I just love coming home when it smells so good and sweet but the only problem is it always makes me hungry always makes me like 
go get some cookies and cakes and chocolates and sweets, but it just smells so good. Ah, so yeah, that's one of my favorites. Another 2010 favorite of mine is a movie. And it's a movie I watched on Christmas Day for the first time because I've been given a Blu-ray present and it's Inception. How great is that movie? I was just so amazed. I was I just didn't want it to stop. That's how good it was. Oh my god, it's just so good. I just wanna watch it again. And in the end, did you like how they didn't give you uh, an answer, was he asleep, was he awake, what do you think, what do you think? I'm thinking he was awake, but after I finished watching the movie, I got so obsessed, I got on the internet and started reading all these forums where people say they theories, and uh, someone suggested that the whole movie was a dream, his dream, and um, I thought it was quite interesting, but I don't want to think like that, I want to think he... Um, he was awake in the end and because we watched it on Christmas Day we had lots of uh, these crackers and when we opened them lots of presents from the crackers got um, lost around the house because they were just flying everywhere and so we watched this movie and the next morning I woke up and I found this on my kitchen table <sighs> it's almost it's the same thing he had obviously plastic and pink but it's the same thing I was so amazed and then my boyfriend uh, turned it and it wouldn't stop I was like looking at it and it just wouldn't stop and he started shaking me saying wake up wake up <gasps> I thought it was so creepy after we watched that movie we got this I love it it's so good and it gave me lots of inspiration I was doing lots of sketches and drawings so I always enjoy movies when they give you so much thoughts um, stuff to think about inspiration and just change your view on things so yeah oh, definitely one of my favorites and oh, the last thing is Toy Stories <gasps> I was introduced for the first time to stories in 2010 really late I know I have no idea how this uh, past me but anyway for the first time I watched two stories one and two in 2010 and then I got to uh, uh, two stories three and just the whole trilogy is just so good they're just amazing and I cried so much in um, the end of two story three I think I cried mostly because I realized it's not gonna be any more toy stories and I just love the like um, watching what they up to and what happened to them and I'm just so sad that's not gonna be any more Toy Stories. Um. So anyway, here's my 2010 favorites, lots of books and movies and um, Kendall, pretty random set. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you like my channels, uh, my channel, my videos. Oh, never mind. Please subscribe if you like me. <laughs> and please uh, have a look at my another channel. It's the interior design channel. And um, yeah, I'll see you later guys. Bye!